Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third video. We're going to have a look at weather for the next day, 14 days for today's third video. Day 10 will take us to the 9th of uh, April. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the excellent GFS and ECM ensembles. They were around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video. The next four weeks, that gets us so uh, well into the second half of April. I shall get to our back for you. In a moment, just say that first video still 6 a.m. upload. And we've also released European outlook as well. Please check out those two videos. If you'd like to do that, like, share, subscribe on the Thank you very much. So bundled. Thank you so very much, everybody, uh, for uh, doing that. Right, let's start our central in temperature. The CT is currently sitting at 6.7, which is now over one degree above the 61 to 1990 average. That's provisional to the 29th of uh, the month. Could that finish up at seven degrees in the end? Could that finish up at seven zero? I wonder. Wow, wow, wow. We keep an eye on it. Uh, of course he will. Uh, these are the uh, 500 mil of our high tonally flow charts from Penn State University for the uh, next week, 10 days. We've got the East WF here on the top. And the GFS, which we'll have a look at, look at in a moment, is on the bottom. 500 millibars, 18,000 feet, is an area in the atmosphere of high pressure and low pressure are being moved around by a jet stream running above red, extrapolates to above average heights, or orange and red to above average heights, which is high pressure balloon to below average heights, which is low pressure. Look at this. The ECM is placing an area of above average heights, high pressure, right over the top of the UK. And it does ridge it. This blocking feature up here has deep low pressure in the Atlantic with that uh, trough of low just there. But it uh, is actually sending us drier and anticyclonic in the 7 to 10 day time frame. And what's more, the GFS is doing that as well. This is a very significant change on uh, what we've had through March with uh, a, an, with an area of above average heights, high pressure reaching through the western part of Europe. Again, blocking this area of low pressure out in the Atlantic. Um, looks a little bit cold for northern and eastern parts of Europe with that trough of low pressure just there. That brings the wind in to a cooler or colder northwesterly direction on the periphery of that. But yeah, both both uh, 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 ECM and the Jefferson today building up an area of high pressure in the same 10 day time frame. So significant changes on the way uh, for April. Moons of the GFS, upright temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Red light is the third year. Upper air temperature average for Liverpool. We're starting off above average at the moment. We're going to see those upper air temperatures uh, lowering over the uh, weekend into the beginning of next week. Not for long, though. Actually, actually, actually looking quite mild uh, through much of next week and up to the Easter period as well. That said, we have got um, a, a colder scenario creeping in with the GFS operation right at the very end. Um, but overall, that looks like quite an extended spell of above average temperature, doesn't it? As we're going through the first half of April. But the main thing, I reckon, is that it's only drier after all the rain. So I've got more precipitation to come uh, over the next day or two and into the early part of next week next week but once that is out of the way we go significantly drier then uh with those uh ensembles uh precipitation ensemble spikes temperature anomalies from the 30th of march 7th of april gonna be a little bit above average precipitation anomalies from the 30th of march 7th of april near normal or drier than average in the north the latest river map from earth no school dot net so we've got a deep area of low pressure heading our way from the atlantic at the boat that's going to give england and wales um particularly the south of england and wales uh, a very wet, windy night tonight. Right, so chart data. This LS UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Sunday. Low pressure clearing away to the east. High pressure ridging in from the west. That high pressure train continues then into the early part of next week. Not complete settle. We still have these weather systems coming up against high pressure, particularly into western areas being showering bursts of rain. But generally, high pressure is getting more of a foothold there as we go through next week with the UK Met. Icon again with high pressure building through the country on Sunday. Nice reach by time you get through to the beginning 
up next, which showed with the Ridge with Icon for the UK Met has it. And that Ridge holds on throughout the week, actually, the South of the East. It does turn a little bit more showery uh, in the far west and northwest. The GFS Midnight Run, again, trending towards high pressure through uh, the beginning of next week, although this low adds a complication and brings some showery rain uh, through to northern areas in particular in the middle part of next week. But let's go with the idea that high pressure is generally strengthening throughout week next week. This is Good Friday with tomorrow, 7th of April, high pressure building up through the western side of Europe. And we keep that high pressure dominating them all the way up to day 10, sitting over and to the north. We can see cold air beginning to push into the northern, north, northern and northeastern part of Europe with those northern winds. But basically, we're under high pressure through uh, the Easter weekend. Don't want dry weather, if not overly warm, but a lot of dry, pleasant weather over Easter. Um, and those are bringing some cold air from the east. This is where the um, GFS operation run became a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of an outlier, you know, just here. You can see how the green line sort of, sort of falls away there. So eventually um, the GFS big light run becomes a bit of a cold outlier uh, for a while. Uh, right, okay, the uh, GFS 6 then again has that area of high pressure building through the north and west of Europe on Sunday into Europe uh, next week. High pressure coming under attack from the low in the Atlantic, but basically that high pressure dominates the weather uh, increasingly actually through next week and into the Easter period. That's day 10, Easter Sunday, the 9th of April, the high pressure putting up to Greenland ice them, just threatening to bring down some cooler or colder air from the door. So we go a little bit cold as the Easter, Easter weekend uh, goes on with winds in to the door and to uh, the northeast there on the cold side of the area of high pressure um, if you like. So it's quite chilly there with the GFS 6. Let me actually see how that works out on the ensemble graph. So let's have a look at that. There we go. So uh, on the ensemble graph, again, I wouldn't say it's a cold outlier, but it's certainly one of the colder ensemble members at that period. Before then, um, looking generally, most of the ensembles are generally quite a uh, mile. Okay, if you enjoyed this, this uh, video, please do you like, share, subscribe, thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. We need to put on three, three subscribers, <laughs> that's all, to get to 15.7k. Uh, if you could give us a sub, that would be amazing. Thanks so much everybody. Right, GM, again with high pressure reaching through the country, in the early part of next week. Uh, that high pressure stays in control in the south anyway through next week. The north will be a little bit more unsettled. Quite a warm bridge as well, Pat. So that should bring some uh, very pleasant temperatures into more southern parts of the country. And a main dry week next week as well. And that air of high pressure will all finally better start rushing out into the garden and cutting the grass, <laughs> Matt, I think, uh, next week. Because there is going to be a lot of useful dry weather. And that carries on right away. Up to uh, Easter as well. That's Easter Sunday, day 10. With high pressure, Scandinavia winds are in from the east. And then the ECM uh, again, showing high pressure taking over through the early part of next week, especially in the south and east. Was a little bit more showering in the north and the west. And that high pressure increasingly strengthening as we're heading into the Easter weekend, bringing lots of dry weather with it. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tibetshow.com. Very wet, windy for England, Wales tonight and tomorrow morning. Talking about high pressure and dry weather, we have got another <laughs> another dose of uh, really quite uh, wet and windy weather to get through before we get to this area of high pressure. Uh, but by the beginning of next week, we are under a ridge, main dry away from the far northwest of Scotland. And uh, we keep those dryish conditions going through next week. A little bit of shower rain into more northern western areas, in particular a few showers first south was at east, but a lot of dry weather in the south and the east through next week. And up to day 10, that's how he looks up to the east weekend again, high pressure, brings lots of dry weather with it. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the United States. gets us to the 9th of April. 14 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure over the country. That's going to be mostly dry and pleasant. 10 with high pressure just a little bit further northwards could allow something a bit cooler to come in from the northeast, I suppose, with wind, but basically you've got dry weather with that. Uh, 9 with high pressure ridging through the south and east, which actually low pressure out west. So that's going to be main dry. It should be quite warm as well, bring winds up from the southwest. 
seven, including the operational run. So I'm just looking at uh, with high pressure over Scandinavia and easterly flow. That easterly could be a little bit chilly, but again, it should be lots of dry weather. Six with high pressure reaching through the country and to the northwest. That can remain dry as well. And five with high pressure over Scandinavia, low pressure out in the Atlantic. That should be bringing quite a bit of dry weather too. So they're all basically building in high pressure for day 10. The exact placement of the ridge, you know, because it's 10 days away, is a little bit uncertain. But they're all basically trending in that uh, direction towards high pressure and consequently drier conditions. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 14th of April, 15 members of the ECM ensemb ensembles with a nice Scandinavian high. Again, that should be mainly dry. Uh, we've got 12 with high pressure over and to the west of the country. That should be mainly dry as well. 10 breaking low pressure through, again, from off the Atlantic. So, obviously, that could be a much more unsettled scenario. 9 with high pressure around Iceland and in the North Atlantic. So, that could be mostly dry again, but could be a little bit on the cold side with winds coming in from more of an easy direction. And then 5 just here with low pressure over and slight to the east of the country. Combined with a mid-Atlantic ridge, that's going to be cool and, of course, quite wet as well. CFSP2, finally, these are 500 millibar heights and all these broken down into wheat periods. The first wheat period takes us from the 30th of March, 5th of April, but coming week still unsettled with low pressure in the ascendancy, but by the time we get through to week two, we are seeing changes. This would be 6th to 12th of April. High pressure reaching up from the Azores to our south and southwest, and also high pressure of Scandinavia blocking this low in the Atlantic, so that's trending towards higher pressure. We get through to week three, and it all goes wrong. This is the 13th to the 19th of April. Southwest then has a chop of low pressure centered over, over the country with high pressure back to Greenland. That's going to be not only very unsettled, but could actually be quite chilly, quite cold with that trough of low pressure. And then uh, week four is the 20th to 26th of April. High pressure then reaching up from the southwest up towards Scandinavia. So the trend there is uh, to drier conditions, perhaps, as we're coming into the last stages of April. But it's four weeks away, so it's not really worth worrying about. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for everybody for out. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And um, thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, okay, we may have an Easter update for you uh, later on today. Not sure uh, with that when we're going to have time to do that. We've got processing delays with our YouTube videos today. So I might just... Um, uh, I might just knock the videos on the head and, <laughs> you know, leave it for today uh, once these two are finally, well, this one and the European app finally get done processing. Um, anyway, tomorrow uh, we're going to have a, a 6 a.m. upload. Jeremy, Friday, maybe it tends 14 day as well. It's all going to be going off, so uh, keep checking back to the channel for more content for this one, though. That's all for now, and thanks for watching. Please give us a sub, by the way. Like, share, subscribe. Tell friends and fans to subscribe as well. And thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday, and bye for now.